We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Thanks for sticking with us here at 6 o'clock. KIMT Storm Team 3 Chief Meteorologist Aaron White has been tracking some storms, some rain, and some hail. Yeah, got pretty, uh, pretty busy this afternoon as we were uh, seeing those showers and storms popping up here and got fairly intense enough to produce some hail in North Iowa, including Mason City, Clear Lake, and even Osage did see some hail. This uh, video behind me, this was taken in and around Mason City, showing the hail actually knocking leaves off the trees as it, they were you know, some pretty large hailstones up to near quarter size as that was coming down in Mason City, covering the ground, making it look like it just snowed here today. But that was all hail as that was coming down with that severe thunderstorm that we had the warning on until 530 earlier this evening. Uh, again, uh, that one video coming in from Bobby Patterson. So another uh, photo showing us uh, some large hail that was in Osage, just a handful of hail. As Ava said there in Osage, just a lot of hail that was again also covering the ground there. So not just the hail that we're talking about, but good rain that just really soaked into the ground here today very quickly coming down over a quarter of an inch in Mason City, Osage and Clear Lake. Lighter amounts around Forest City, Garner and Northwood, but Hey, it was some rain. It was nice to see some of that. It wasn't really good to see the hail, but at least we got some rain with it and we're still tracking some showers and storms making their way through here at the present time. Most of it situated around Decorah up to near Cresco, back to near Lime Springs into southern Minnesota. Much of Fillmore County, County seeing the rain and even just near and east of Rochester now getting closer to Iota and St. Charles about to get some pretty good downpours here in the next 20 minutes. Not only are we tracking that, but some more showers and storms back to the west. That's going to roll through later on, and most of that is going to really be situated north of the border here. As you can see, that line really just kind of stops near the border, and it may build a little bit more to the south. We'll have to watch that, but I think the more rain that we see this evening is going to be confined into southern Minnesota. But here's a look at the hail reports again. They were near Clear Lake through Mason City and another hail report up to near Osage that we saw with that photo. But that's all winding down. The severe weather, severe weather threat is pretty much over here for tonight. Just tracking showers and storms mostly into Minnesota may clip some of us here in North Iowa. Otherwise, that's all going to clear out of here by midnight. And we're looking at clear skies and more sunshine here for the day tomorrow. Additional rainfall again. Most of it's going to be in Minnesota. Some higher amounts up closer to the Mississippi River where some places could pick up over a half an inch. So our forecast for tonight calling for those evening storms here now through about midnight and a low near 42 degrees. And then by tomorrow we're done with the storms and we're tracking sunshine here for your Friday. Highs in the 50s, a beautiful day coming our way and the weekend also looking nice. We got highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s, but then a good warm up back to the 70s and windy here Monday and Tuesday.